Welcome back to another Tech Tap Repair video. In today's edition, we will be working on a MacBook Pro model A1398. Uh, this unit came in for a trackpad replacement, uh, which is a repair that's not very commonly done. So we're going to show you guys how to do it. Let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so of course, we're going to start by removing the pentalobe screws all along the bottom case here. All right, so now that we're inside the unit, the very first thing we're gonna do is disconnect the battery right here. And since we're gonna be removing the battery to access the trackpad, we're gonna start by removing this trackpad flex cable. Uh, these are gonna be two T5 screws. We're gonna go ahead and unplug the flex cable from the logic board, as well as the flex cable from this daughter board down below here and set that aside. And of course, we're gonna start by removing the battery, which means we have to loosen the adhesive. We're gonna use isopropyl alcohol here. All right, so now that that alcohol has started to weaken the glue, we're gonna go ahead and take a flat pry here. Make sure it's flat. Don't use a curved one or a pointy one. You don't wanna puncture the battery. That will cause a fire. And I'm going to set this battery aside for now. Uh, this is a known good battery that we did replace with, so we're going to put it back down uh, once we replace the trackpad and everything inside here. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use a T5 screwdriver and remove all the screws along the trackpad sides here. And this daughter board's actually glued down. So we're gonna peel it up, starting from the center here. There we go. It's gonna reveal two more T3 screws that hold this whole assembly in place. And now we can go ahead and pull the trackpad out. There we are, so that's our old trackpad and daughter board there. We're gonna set that aside and prep this to install the new one. All right, so now we're just gonna go ahead and clean the area around the trackpad. That way when we seat the new one in, it is flat and there's nothing underneath it. All right, now that everything looks all clean, we're gonna take our brand new trackpad here, lay it in place. And then we're gonna start with the inside screws here. So again, I'm gonna peel that glue up. We're gonna start with the two larger T3s. And we're gonna go ahead and stick it down. We're gonna move on to the smaller T3s. And now we're gonna switch back to the T5 screwdriver and put in all the perimeter screws that hold in the trackpad. All right, so after we have our trackpad installed, uh, there is this little cover that actually the client didn't have installed before uh, that goes on top just to protect the trackpad from uh, when you install the battery and everything like that. So we're gonna go ahead and remove these little taped on covers and stick it down. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and remove the glue strips uh, from where the battery was here. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and lay down some fresh glue strips to hold the battery in place. All 
All right, so now that we have all of our glue strips down, we're just going to go ahead and peel all these covers off. Uh, before doing that, I like to make sure they're all pressed down all the way, just to make sure the glue adheres correctly and doesn't peel off. All right, now that all the glue strips are properly prepped, we're gonna go ahead and take our battery. And the first thing I like to do is make sure I plug it in so it lines up correctly. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in first. And I'm gonna lay it in place. And next, we're going to go ahead and take our two T5 screws. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and install the trackpad flex cable one more time. Make sure the retention bar is open. Slide the flex cable in and close the retention bar. Secure it in place on the logic board. Take our cover and the two T5 screws. So that's that installed. Now we're gonna take our bottom plate here, lay it in place and use our pentalobe screwdriver and secure these in place. All right, so let's go ahead and open it up, make sure our trackpad works here. And there we go, trackpad is now fully functional. Thank you guys for watching, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, and with the help of the community, we'll be sure to assist you. If you saw any parts or tools you need in the video, check us out at techdup.com, or click the links below for mail-in repairs. We'll see you guys next time.